Hey guys, it's Snow Sliders 3 here, and this is Sisters um, MC channel on YouTube. And I am starting a new series. It's a texture pack review series, and this is episode 1. And the first texture pack I'm going to be reviewing is the Norse Craft texture pack by Lord Trilobite. And on the forums, it said this is Minecraft version 1.4.6. And, um,. If you like this texture pack, I'll leave a link to it in the description, and if I forget, please tell me in the comment section. And um, if you like it, please download it and try it out yourself. It's not HD, so you don't have to worry about MC Patcher or Optifine. It's normal when you just drag into your texture pack folder and voila, it's there. So to start off, we have some trees out here. Um, we can see the vines don't look like they've been textured, but the trunks definitely have. I love the trunks. They look really nice. Um, we have a spruce tree, birch tree. I like the birch. Um, there's a um, oak back there. But I really like this cactus. It's almost like a flower, flowery vine type look to it. Um, I like it. It looks really nice. It's an interesting take on a cactus and um, into our little texture pack fortress for the rest of the textures. In here we have a dead bush which kind of looks almost alive and then we have um, a pet cat and a pet um, dog. They look the same as the wild textures but they have a collar on them. Then a regular torch and a redstone torch I love the redstone torch. Then the bed looks really um, nice and medieval. This is a really nice like medieval texture pack if you want to build like that. Um, here's the inside of a furnace. We see it really has nice art onto it. So I like it. Especially the detailings with this dragon on the crafting table. It looks really nice. Now we'll go through here. We have, um, I'm just going to go through this really quick. If you see any textures that you are iffy about, please pause the video and look over it. I am going through this really in depth, so you definitely know whether or not you want to download this. So, um, I'm trying to do this fast because I've already recorded this once before and my recording software is being really weird. Like, my voice and the audio, I'm recording it at exactly the same time, but it ends up being, like, really off. So, um, I'm trying to go through this faster. My last recording was a half an hour, and I'm trying to get this down because no one wants to watch a texture pack review that takes, an, like, a half an hour to get through. So, I'm trying to do this really fast. I'm showing you all the mobs and all of the, um, textures that I Okay, let's quickly get over here. We have the ice right here, cobblestone, and bedrock. I'll quickly go through this. Oh my god, that's not shift. <laughs> okay, quickly gravel, sand, stuff like that. So, um, also guys, um, this is going to be my normal kind of texture pack um, setup. I'm going to keep using this um, kind of uh, build for it because I know all of the textures in the creative mode menu are on it. Um, I can't seem to find the um, command block in creative mode. I don't know why. I can't seem to give it to myself so um, you're not going to see that in this texture pack review sadly. Um, chiseled sandstone and chiseled smooth stone look really good. You'll see the smooth stone a little bit later. Alrighty, we're almost through. So we have white wool and magenta. See, I think this mod is really good for like people who are. Why do I keep saying mod? I mean texture pack. I think this texture pack is really good for people who want to do builds and stuff because, like, the wool that many people use. For building, it's really toned down, so you don't have to worry about using like magenta walls and having it scream magenta. 
now it's it's really um nice and toned down for that kind of stuff so brown wool and blue wool yeah I don't know what's up with my recording software it's probably because like I'm just starting out I'm using this certain software and then I guess like the video it's kind of slower now but like when it's done it speeds up so it's like I had to slow it down in editing which is just like a pain so I'm recording this in separate parts yeah I'm hopefully you're not noticing it but like every once in a while I am stopping the recording and doing it in different segments so that way it's easier to edit for me so there's mossel, mossy cobble and bookshelves wooden doors iron doors so um I don't know what's up with the brick I guess that's the texture they chose for it but I rather see it normal brick the nether brick looks more like normal brick than this I'm not sure if I like that yet but I really like the melons the melons look really nice and the chiseled um, brick that I was telling you about earlier so here's some of the looks of the stairs when they're like curved and stuff like a couch um yep these things look really nice I'm still trying to debate whether or not it's supposed to look like that the brick stairs I'm not sure if I like it I I, I actually went through this like three times now the first time just to give it my rating and stuff because I'm gonna rate it at the end the second time to actually record it and stuff but I did all in one take which ended up to like fail miserably because of like my voice and the um visual being off um yeah I don't know how to fix that guys have any ideas of like any recording software that won't do this to me please tell me in the comment section or send me a message You'll probably notice every once in a while there's like a huge lag. That's just me stopping the recording and restarting it. So there's the wolf again. He's really cute. Um, another portal here doesn't look any different. Squid, let's press the give squid button. I like the squid. It looks really nice. Um, there's the cow. And... <laughs> I love that one. He's kind of like so happy. But it almost doesn't go with the rest of the textures, you know? It it seems kind of random. Give Ocelot. Ocelot, face me. Well, you get the idea. He's pretty cute. Um, Mushroom with a ton of fungus on his back. I love this guy. This is the pig. Come on, show me. Show me your face. <laughs> oh my god, it's like his eyes his can eyes stare, stare into, into your soul. soul. Oh my god, he's so creepy. The flowers and the roses look... Uh, oh no! There I go, destroying everything again. Speaking of which, in my previous recording, I just totally messed up all of the redstone underneath here. So I'm going to fill in that doesn't look like the water's been fixed at all so um, I'll go down here I'll show you the down here and then I'm gonna go into the nether so oh god I have that problem where it like keeps double clicking when I don't want it to so yeah look all of my pretty redstone work has been washed away as always so quickly reconnect that. Oh my god. Let me out. And click the button. There we go. So we have Skeleton. He has a nice enchanted bow that he doesn't want to show us. I keep getting them with enchanted items. Okay, this guy is terrifying. I don't know what to say about him. He scares me. I would scream if he came up and it, up to me and blew up. It, it would just be bad. Um, 
The zombie doesn't look like he came out, nor does it seem these other ones. Um, I'll press the button again. When I recorded this earlier, they all came out all right. It's weird. Did I run out of spawn eggs or something? No, they're all here. It must have to be. It must have like destroyed a repeater or something. Um, I'll just spawn this guy. See that guy, and then. Yep. He keeps getting stuck in the wall, so he never survives. There, that guy survived. Yeah, so. They're pretty nice looking. Anvils, they're kind of damaged. The mushrooms. Yeah, so. I'm trying to kind of rush this. I'm trying to be a little bit more to the point than the last time I did this. Then we'll quickly go into the nether. Thank <laughs> you.